Our next contest, a one-on-one -on -one match scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. streak here in Dungeon Wrestling. It cannot be denied, Mitch. I couldn't agree more. Last time I saw him wrestle, he had a little bit of that edge that I'm starting to like. He puts that together with his wrestling prowess. Watch out. Yeah, I mean, this guy really is a total package. He can do it all. He's got a great technician. As I was saying, great technician. Fantastic athleticism. No one who steps in the ring with him is thinking that it's an easy ticket, no question. Well, this guy's got the wrestling background. He knows he's getting his reps in here at Dungeon Wrestling. Watch out. Becoming a crowd favorite himself during his tenure. Uh, was tight. You know what? I like him, but he likes to go up and down. Yeah, he moves up. He's, he's, he's up the himself it seems like Mitch as Mike McGuire our very own said making his dungeon wrestling debut yeah I've heard a lot of good things I've actually watched a little bit of some of his matches to see what's going on I think the fans are gonna be impressed it's gonna be a great matchup yeah absolutely absolutely and that's what I love about the match cards at dungeon wrestling I mean there is really no gimme you look at this you have no idea who's gonna come out on top here and you know me, I'm a, I'm a tights guy. Great tights. A good design. It's nice. I'm not going to lose him in a crowded room. Three Fitzpatrick doing his due diligence in the ring. These competitors are in prime condition right now, both coming off some very successful runs, both here in Dungeon Wrestling for Sean Moore. And this newcomer, Sebastian Wolf, not a newcomer to the wrestling scene at all. In fact, having some very, very successful moments out west in Vancouver, working with NEW, and even having a few appearances in All Elite Wrestling over the last few months. Sebastian Wolf came to play. Yeah, there is no question, and I mean, the one thing I'm noticing right away is just the focus. Well, both of these guys, intense competitors, you can tell, both of them no stranger to the gym. And I think we're going to see something here special tonight as both men lock up now. That's what I'm talking about, that speed and intensity from Sean Moore. It's un unparalleled. Quick takedown from Moore, going behind Wolf, trying to power out now. He's going to try and break the grip of Moore. Just raw strength there, manages to snap out in the meantime, get his own double underhook down, takes him down. And as we have more struggle happening in the ring, we welcome you again, fans, to Dungeon Wrestling. Look at the, the, the amount of angst in both these guys. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Sean Moore. What did I, what did I say? What did no, I tell you? No. The edge. This is what's going to take Sean Moore to the next level. Well done, Sean. Well, well done. sure worked well for Michael Allen and Richard Clark. 
or Michael Allen, Sean Moore, apparently. All right. Yeah. Now. Both men looking to lock up once again. Going for the Greco-Roman finger locks. Tied together. And this is purely a test of strength at this point, gentlemen. And Wolf getting the upper hand now. But Moore hooking the leg so he doesn't fall down into this bridge. Wait a minute now. Sean Moore holding on with everything he has, but the pressure alone. If he gets those shoulders down, this could be a pinning predicament. It's Wolf slamming on the fingers. And now here's the cover. Good for two. Look at the bridge strength of Sean Moore. It's almost like he's playing Twister, but how do you work out for him? I don't know if I'd call this working out in the meantime. <laughs> Sean Moore, glad he worked out that neck. Look at the bridge strength. Now Kips up, manages to flip Wolf out. And Moore trying to get his bearings after that. Just trying to feel each other out. They're not sure what to do here. Well, that's the case, too, when you have a wrestler showing up in a new region, a new territory, and a debut like this one for Sebastian Wolf. You know, people have the benefit of seeing him, but I don't know how much research he's done on the competition here in Dungeon. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, when it, like you say, when it is your debut, you know, you want to come out and you want to make a statement. Uh, and, and I can see that a bit in Sebastian Wolf. You know, he's, he's maybe being a little too reserved, one would say. Well, when it comes down to it, I think both guys are set to let loose here now. Pushes more into the corner and then blocks him with a shoulder block. And Sebastian Wolf taking a moment now to bask in that success. I think Sean Moore's a little stunned. Ah, that's for this guy now. Well, he usually he's the one giving it. More power from Wolf. And Sean Moore taking it back once again. Fans not sure what to think in this match, to be honest here. Sean Moore has been a favorite, but the showboating costing him. As Wolf gets a cover for one. Now, simple reverse chin lock on Sean Moore. He's got it cinched right in, and he's just wrenching him from side to side, just sucking the arrow. Well, the funny thing is that a lot of people think that this can be a choke hole, but when it's actually properly executed, the amount of pressure this does on the jaw and the actual head and neck is intense. As we see now, Wolf spin around to further that pressure on the sides of the head. And this is where you can start worrying about losing focus, getting dizzy, even going as far as blacking out. As Moore fights to get out, pushes Wolf off, drop down, leapfrog over, and this time, beautiful drop kick from Moore. The side hip toss and the cover, one, two, just two on that one. I mean, that's not going to be enough. You, you definitely got to do more. Mitch, you're awfully quiet over there. What's on your mind? I'm trying to figure out exactly who I like. Both are not impressing me in any way right now. I mean, both great wrestlers. I like the Sean. I like the Wolf. I'm not sure which way I want to go on this one. How can these guys not be impressing you? They're laying it all out here. Look at the, the struggle on these guys' faces alone. I mean, by default, you got to go with the person with leather tights, and I think that's Wolf. That's what I'm thinking. All right, well, for those of us not judging this competition on fashion choice, as we see drop down on the arm bar. And Moore, once again, in control. But do you see the smile? Oh, wait a minute now. Bit of a submission specialist. And that pain, that pain, just bending his fingers back. This time. Okay, I'm going for Sean Moore. I like Sean Moore. <laughs> Sebastian Wolf might have a broken hand now. Those fingers went straight down into the canvas and Sean via his Moore. boot. Sean Moore relentless now as he has Wolf against the ropes. I mean, I knew this was going to break out, but I didn't think it'd come this way. Five minutes. Sorry, gentlemen, my job is to keep time in this as well, so I have to make sure I'm doing those time cues. <laughs> yeah, working overtime here, Mike. They need a belt just for Mike himself. <laughs> He's like the utility knife of Dungeon Wrestling. Sean <laughs> Moore, hard to the turnbuckles. Close line, followed up from Wolf. Is that enough to knock him down? Here's the cover, two and... Moore manages to kick out. 
guys are taking each other too lightly. They're, they're not giving each other that respect. That's the problem here. All right, as we continue now with Wolf. He can arm bar of his own now. This lock actually putting more pressure on the shoulder. Beautiful uppercut. European style from Sebastian Wolf. Sent him down in an instant, that's for sure. But, you know, still, I think they have, they have to follow it up. They gotta continue. The thing that I'm noticing is it's too, they're starting and stopping too much. For well, a sustained just, attack. The amount of energy that these guys are putting out with every move, though, that's the thing. And I think both guys are kind of getting surprised by what the other can take. We see just a hard stomp to the midsection now from Wolf on Sean Moore. And again, the fans kind of split in this match. I feel what they're feeling, Mike. I'm telling you. I said Sean, but now I'm, uh, I'm back with the Wolf. Beautiful reverse elbow. Shoulders down. It's a count of two. At least the referee's count is consistent of slow. <laughs> You're not going to give that up tonight, are you? It's just Probably. never enough for you. I think the horse is now blue, Mitch. <laughs> As we continue the stomps from Sean, Sebastian Wolf on Sean Moore in the corner. Third, and you can see Moore trying to block those shots with limited success. Hard right hand. Irish whip into the corner. You see how much pressure that Sebastian Wolf put into that. He put everything he had into it, that's for sure. But does he have enough to follow up? Is there going to be something big here? Both men testing each other out. We see another beautiful European uppercut. Once again, throwing all his weight, all his force, his energy into that Irish whip. And Sean Moore is almost taking more damage from those turnbuckles than he has from Wolf. Yeah, I don't think the padding is a factor at all here in, in helping soften any kind of blow. Well, it's it's kind of like that little padding you had on your BMX bike when you were a kid. You know, sure, it's a, a half an inch of foam, but there's still solid steel behind that. So. <laughs> fair point, fair point. Wolf now, another Irish whip this time. Moore ducks under the clothesline, ducks under another. Cross body for Moore! Doesn't even bother going for the cover. I don't think he has anything left in him. That cross body block was a saving grace. Yeah, he's holding his chest pretty tight here. That was a definite impact. I think I'm going to go with Sean Moore now. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Does anyone, whoever's ahead. What are you talking about? I was with Sean Moore the whole time. Referee Michael Fitzpatrick gets up to a count of five before Moore gets to his feet. Sean Moore hits an uppercut of his own now on Wolf. As we hit the 10 minute mark of this match, 10 minutes go to the match. 10 minutes. Spinebuster of beauty from Sebastian Wolf. You know what? Sebastian Wolf, I think, is going to, you know, he's impressing me again. Well, Sebastian Wolf, not a slouch by any means. You can tell in beautiful physical condition, prime condition of his career, and also. Just a survivor all around, representing the Pasco First Nation. Does so proudly around the world. He's really become a role model to many in that community and really across Canada. As we see Wolf set up for it. Looks like he's going for a suplex. Moore stops it. Wolf reverses one for Moore. Back and forth we go. And Moore trying to power out with everything he has. Wolf gets up over. Couldn't even follow through with the suplex. Just kind of threw more down. Yeah, he threw that like my wife throws the suitcase at me. Well, you're welcome to crash on my couch anytime, buddy. I, that's what I was actually trying to get to. Thank you. Both men down once again as Michael Fitzpatrick up to five in his count. Uh, surprise. Seven now. Neither man fully up. Here we go. Referee says, let's go. Sebastian Wolf misses with a spear, and this time gets caught with a turnbuckle. Oh, my God. Moore driving both those knees into the left shoulder and arm. And gets a two count on Wolf. Oh, you could hear him scream from here. Sean Moore's got this. I'm back on the Sean Moore train. That was a great move. You know what's crazy? What's Every that? move that any one of these two do takes as much 
force out of them than it seems they're inflicting on the other person. Once again, Sean Moore dishing out some punishment, but you can see it on his face. He's he's feeling every move that he's giving as well. Sebastian Wolf just trying to, to push Sean Moore out of the way. A series of fists now in the corner. punches in and Sebastian Wolf is out seemingly on his feet Sean Moore goes up high big vertical suplex of his own and this time the tables have turned in Moore's favor shoulders down only gets a two count tell me I'm wrong that's all I'm gonna say tell me I'm wrong Working that arm and the shoulder that, that he injured earlier. There it is. There He's trying it is. to put There's it right into an arm roll. Yeah. Now from Sean Moore. And Sebastian Wolf holding the pressure, trying, trying to hold on to that left arm. If that slips, it's going to be over. And here it is. He's got to get inventive here. Sebastian Wolf in a world show if he can step over, though. Just laying in blows now. Nothing pretty about this. Manages to just club his way out of the submission hold. But gets caught with a clothesline once again. Sean Moore goes for the hook of the leg. Count of two for Sean Moore. Sean Moore is throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this guy right now. I think if you had a kitchen sink, you could actually throw it, though. I always found that to be weird, too. I don't know. Oh, heights are going back on. Yeah. Sit well, off and see, put on and then off. If you don't like him, you don't make him that way. It's pitching. Chop from Sean Moore on to Sebastian Wolf. Going for the count again. Great move by, by the Wolf there. I like that. You know what? That Wolf is showing a lot of 15 tenacity. 15 minutes gone in the match. 15 minutes. I mean, that was a fantastic move, but at what cost? I mean, he's holding his arm. Both men struggling to get to their feet once more. This time, Wolf getting a close line, but didn't get a lot of it with that sword. As Sean Moore feeds into another uppercut from Wolf, and Wolf now sees his eyes here as we're seeing a series of clotheslines. This time, Wolf with more on his shoulders. Wolf, I'm down with this guy. I this guy is all about. I thought it was over. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was over. Sebastian Wolf trying to figure things out, trying to decode Sean Moore. Fans, we have less than five minutes left in the regulation time for this match, but both men still giving everything they have. Are they even going to make the clock? That's the real question. Well, right now, Sebastian Wolf going for a big finish here. And now we see Sean Moore struggling for air. Both men just rattled. 
equal value. These guys are literally one of a like. They're just one edge on one end, one edge on the other. You can't seem to catch an edge. Both men look into the crowd. Kip up for more. Wolf on his feet. Close line. Spinning back elbow for more. And this time Sebastian Wolf in a world of trouble. Goes for the cover. One, two, and still a kick out from Wolf. You have to think that Wolf is running on instinct at this point. Sean Moore's got this. It's all good. Here it comes. Here it comes. Watch this. Sean Moore now gesturing to these fans. It looks like he's going up top to the high rent district. Here we go. Sean Moore setting up for something huge. Flying cross body. It's got to be it. Looks the leg. One, two, and. I don't know what to a think normal anymore. cow would have been at eight. I don't know what to think anymore, and neither do they. He's got to pull his tights back up, maybe. Fans, there's one minute remaining in this match. Time is ticking, as our, our friend Mike McGuire pointed out. Less than a minute in this match. And 30 seconds remain. 30 seconds. Wolf's we'll trying to pull him away from the ropes. You can see it, the sense of urgency. Wolf knows that he's trying to come up with something, anything, really. Wolf can't even get up. They've used every ounce of energy. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Appreciation from the crowd, and all you can do is clap from a valiant effort from both parties, Mitch. Uh, you know what? I just I don't want to say it, but I was right again. I knew it. I knew neither one would win. It was right down the middle. I don't know if you knew either one of them would win. You were flip-flopping back and forth quite a bit. Was I? Hold on, we got Mike McGuire. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is reached its 20-minute time limit. Referee Michael Fitzpatrick declared this contest a draw. draw in wrestling. I say overtime. It's got to be overtime, or at least some kind of shootout. They could be inventive with it. I, I agree. Two you know, minutes. Give me two minutes, boss. You know what? The fans don't love it. Clearly, Sean Moore and Sebastian Wolf don't love it, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, you look, this thing could have gone on for an hour, Mitch. Look at the two oh, yeah. of them in the ring here. They both know it. They want it again. They're gonna roll. Oh, yeah. No, hey, hey. That's right, Sebastian. Don't do it. No. Ah. Yeah. You know how I feel about the handshakes. You know how I feel. They about started it. with respect. You got to finish with respect. 